Good evening, good evening, you guys. Welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? Tonight we're gonna to be talking about how to fatten up that wallet. So if you can do me a favor, I'll give you guys a few minutes to chime on. If you can do me a favor on the left-hand side, hit the share button on the right, hit the hearts so you know I wanna love you back. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about how to fatten thy wallet up. So let me give you a few minutes to come on board. Good evening, you guys. Hello. How you doing? Good, good, good. Hey, Terrence Parker, good evening. Thank you for joining tonight. How you guys doing out there? Let's see. All right, let me see here. Hey, Dee, good to see you. Hey, Leviticus, good to see you too as well. Good evening, good evening. Hey, Terry Gentry, good to see you. Great to see you as well. Hey, Darwin, nice to see you as well. So many of you guys, um, I wanna share with you guys tonight how to fatten thy wallet up. Um, there's so many of us that live paycheck to paycheck every single um, two weeks, every single month, and you're really trying to figure out how do I get out of debt and how do I begin to save for myself? I don't have any extra money. So tonight, I wanna talk to you a little bit about that. I wanna talk to you about taking out 10% and paying yourself before you start paying your bills. And many of you are thinking like, Nico, I can't do that because if I do that, then I don't have any money to pay my bills. Well, I want you to think of it like this. Let's say you work at a corporation, right? And if you work at the corporation and that corporation says to you, hey, you can either work here and take a 10% reduction in pay, or you can get laid off with the rest of them. What are most of us gonna do? We're gonna take that 10% reduction in pay, right? And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna make the adjustment within our finances at home. And tonight I wanna to talk to you about doing the same thing when it comes to paying yourself first. I need you to make the adjustment for yourself. And let me give you an example. Let's say this is your savings basket, okay? Let's say this is your paycheck. Every time your paycheck comes in, um, and before you pay these guys, I want you to take 10% and pay yourself. Let's say, hey, Joy, Evelyn. Let's say, Joy, this is one of your, or Joe, Evelyn, sorry. Say, uh, this is one of your eggs. You're going to put it in your basket before you pay your bills. The next one, let's just say Terrence Parker. This is one of yours. You're going to put it in your basket, and then you're going to pay your bills. Let's just say this one is for Miko. I'm gonna put it in my basket and then I'm gonna pay my bills. And you'll notice as you start to do that, your basket is going to become full. Your bills are gonna be paid because you're gonna to start to make an adjustment. You're gonna stop maybe cable television. You're gonna make a reduction in your insurance payment. You're going to, I don't know, get rid of eating out all the time. You're gonna make the adjustment is what I'm saying. And then once you make the adjustment, think how good it's gonna feel when you see in your savings basket a little bit of money. And then let's just say car breaks down, you need a tire, something happens. Before you were so busy living paycheck to paycheck that you were stressed out and there was nothing that you could do. Well, now that you've created a savings for yourself by 10%, just start out with 10% if that's what you can do. Start out with 10, if you could do more, do more. But how good would it feel like when the car breaks down? Hey, no problem, I got it. Let's just say you, you wanna take a trip with your girlfriends, no problem, I got it. But what I want you to do with this savings account, with this basket that you've created, is I want you to find something that you can invest your money in, let's say a stock or something simple. Because remember, we're starting out really easy, so just something simple. Let's just say a stock, a mutual fund, or something like that. Now you're gonna diversify your money by putting it in there, and it's gonna create compound interest, which we'll talk about another day. But I just wanna talk to you about taking 10% of what comes in, making the adjustment, whether it's getting rid of television, lowering your car insurance payments, um, anything that you can do to reduce your bills so that you can start creating a heavier pocket for yourself, you guys. So this is simply what I wanted to talk to you about tonight. You can do anything that you put your mind to. If you are in a position where you're gonna get laid off, you're gonna take that 10% reduction in pay and you're gonna make the adjustment in your finances. I need you to start making an adjustment in your finances and pay yourself first you are a bill. You went to work every day for that money, pay yourself, put it in your savings account, and create that wealth for yourself, and eventually compound interest. You guys, thank you so much for being on tonight. I appreciate it. Let me just say hello. Hey, Chloe. Hello. Hey, Teresa. It's good to see you. Hey, Laura. Many of you um, are starting to chime on on my page, and I just want to also welcome you all to my page, and thank you for being here. And if you could do me a favor, if this message was important for you and helpful, hit the share button on the left-hand side, because if it helped you, it can probably help someone else. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later on in the week. Bye-bye.